In this video, we're going to look at creating high quality SEO friendly blog content that ranks in the search engines well, helping you get more organic traffic to your blog, which can lead to increased leads, increased subscribers and increased sales. Now, this is an actionable strategy that is working now within 2024. This isn't just write an article. This is a process that you need to be following now on your blog. And when you get through everything on this video, you can go away and actually put them into place today. And finally, make sure that you stick around to the end because I'm going to give you the exact Google Bard prompt that you need to ensure that your blog doesn't get lost in the search engines in 2024. So with all that said, let's get into it. So in this video, we're going to be looking at the strategy of topic taxonomies. And topic taxonomy is a great way to actually show authoritiveness and expertise within your niche and the content that you're creating. And seeing as authoritative and expertise is one of the critical factors in Google, getting these right is going to be key to actually exploding your blog in 2024. So let's have a look at what it actually is in simple terms. So what is a taxonomy? Well, if we look at this image here, what we can see is a taxonomy when it actually comes to a classification of mammals. Okay, so first off, we've got vertebrates, then we've got separated and let's go to warm-blooded we've got warm-blooded then we got warm-blooded mammals birds and fish okay so underneath mammals you've got uh lions chimpanzees and whales okay so if you were to create a piece of content about warm-blooded mammals then what's going to happen is google wants to see that you have lions chimpanzees and and whales in there okay and the same for birds it would kind of like look at the warm-blooded birds etc so that is a major thing and when you get this correct it basically signals to google that hey all right this covers the topic within the article in a way that is correct so what you do when you create content around these taxonomies you create it with this structure this hierarchical structure and then what happens is google starts to understand your content it starts to understand the keywords and the phrases that you're actually in your content why they're there and then it's going to help you rise up the search engine rankings when you get this correct what's going to happen is you're going to get much more love from google which means that you're going to start rising up the search engine rankings and that inherently means getting more people to your site getting more subscribers and getting more sales now i just wanted to clarify this is for blog posts it's not for the architecture within your site at all okay so i just made a quick graphic for you here here's a table that summarizes the key difference between a topic taxonomy and website navigation structure okay so one is for your piece of content that you're creating one is for your website in itself and the categories that you create within your website so first off we got a feature the ta ta topic taxonomy and then you've got your website navigation structure the purpose of your topic taxonomy is to organize your content in a logical manner okay the focus is your topic and your subtopic relationships and then the implementation is your headings your subheadings and your internal linking Okay, versus your website structure, which is a guide to for users to navigate through your website, user experience and usability, and menus, links, and page orientation. So how does Google actually understand that you're doing this correctly? Well, Google uses a couple of different tools within their arsenal. They use NLP, which is natural language processing. It uses machine learning, which is obviously artificial intelligence, and it uses their algorithm RankBrain. So it uses the, nat the NLP to actually notice the topics and subtopics within your content. Then it uses its machine learning to understand actually what is going on inside of your article. And then finally, it utilizes rank brain. And what this does is this finds out the intent of what your content is about, and it matches with the search intent of the person actually searching on Google. So if somebody's searching for, tell me about chocolate cakes, well, then what it's going to do is it's going to understand the intent of the search, and it's going to match that to the intent of the article that we're actually creating. And we create that with such an intent through the topic taxonomy structure. And one final example of this before we go into the Google Bard element of this is I'm going to give you an idea of how we do it again. OK, so topic, baking cakes, subtopics, types of cakes, baking ingredients, baking techniques, baking recipes. OK, and now so you kind of get the idea of the structure here, but Google Bard is going to make this so much better for you. And the prompt that I've created is basically going to give you give you the Lego 
when it comes to actually creating these so Google loves you. So let's have a look at Bard. So here we are in Bard and the prompt is this, okay? Can you give me a list of tightly related and semantically fulfilling topic taxonomies for my article about, then you insert your keyword here, ensuring that it fulfills Google NLP, machine learning and rank brain requirements. Okay, so we're being very specific in the prompt here. And as you can see here, Google has come back with some amazing structure here. Okay, so we got our topic, unleashing the power of blogging for seniors. We got our subtopic, blogging, a platform for expression and empowerment, exploring niche opportunities for blogging over 65, crafting your first blog post, um, tailoring your blog's voice and style for over 65 readers, identifying relevant keywords and phrases. So there you go. You got something new to add into your SEO arsenal for your blog. I really, really hope you've enjoyed that. My name's Kieran Doyle. This is the Blank Page Business. Uh, I have a training called The Blog Profit Path. If you are interested in finding more how to be successful in blogging, make sure you check that out. I will leave a link down below. If you've enjoyed it, please leave me a like and I hope you're, if you're new, subscribe, please. Uh, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Thanks very much.